All of our ministers and learning fellows are in different places along the paths of their ministries. Some are just beginning their learning, and some are further along in studies. Even among the lead team, there is a wealth of different experiences. With this breadth of knowledge and experience, what updates, changes, or growth areas can we expect to experience in the coming year? From Darby in Montgomery, Texas, the United States of America. I'm Lucretia, your worship fellow, and I am in the uh, Kickapoo and Peoria lands, Chicago. Hello, everyone. I'm Marion Babcock, and I am your pastoral care learning fellow, and I am in Okinawa on the Rio Go lands. Hi, and I'm Althea Smith. Um, I'm your senior learning fellow, and I am in the Massachusetts Wapanoag uh, land. And I'm responsible for community life this year, which means covenant groups um, and a whole bunch of other groups uh, that we'll talk more about. I'm super excited to be here. And this is my first question box service ever. Um, I'm new to Unitarian Universalism. I joined my home congregation right before the pandemic started. So like September, December, 2020. And um, I knew I wanted to be in a congregation that had justice at the forefront. Um, and I am excited to, I'm a dancer, which is my background. So I'm excited to bring lots of movement and lots of different types of music um, to worship. And yeah, I want us to, to move. To me, movement is how, um, any type of way, whether it's, you know, kind of like this or, you know, with your whole body, with your eyes, like, you know, making expressions, being expressive is like how I worship. Um, and we'll get more into that later. <laughs> I liked this, this question is the first one and it was intentionally picked to go first because I think it says the stage and let's, let's us answer that doing a different service in a different way, perhaps a new way, or just in a unique way, using all of the gifts that everybody brings. This is this service is an example of how we're answering this question. And I think there's some grace in that. So, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, my response is that this is my second year here. Um, and every time I'm in the service, it's different. Um, every time we um, put our heads together and think about how to um, invite you into Unitarian Universalist and create that beloved community and hold you, it's different um, because people are different and they need different things. And that's what's exciting. Um, in addition, I have a unique opportunity to be in conversation with people who are several generations younger than me, which I would never have if it <laughs> wasn't for this opportunity. And with that, um, I learn new things. I have um, great opportunity um, and it's just fun. Um, and I like Lucretia's idea of embodiment. Um, and service being not just about the words, but an embodiment and living into that. And I, I think that's great. Um, and I look forward to that. Mm -hmm. We have over a hundred people on Zoom. So. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay. That's, that's an opportunity. The, everything about CLF is an opportunity. Um, the wealth of experience that was hinted at in the question is just so rich and that's just on it among the ministry team and I'm including in the ministry team all staff because doing this work even if you're doing you know admin that I, I use air quotes because I think that in its own way is it's, it's sacred like it's not a sacred thing I would be very good at but you have to appreciate it you have to value it and in doing so it comes together to serve a community that so unique, so unique. And I think that's, again, I use the word grace and I used it theologically. So, so, so we've gone over um, already. Um, and this is, 
this is of course we did. This, this, this is the problem. We we get talking and we start um, pulling back layers and layers and layers, um, and we get um, um, caught up in the conversation. So um, let's move on. How do you keep going in the midst of overwhelming suffering in the world? Afghanistan is on my mind. New Orleans. So much suffering. Getting overwhelmed with it. How do we respond without getting sucked into other people's suffering? From Alex in Fairfax, Virginia, United States of America. I, I like if if the group doesn't mind, I'd like to kick off with this one. Um, as somebody who served in Afghanistan, I have a unique perspective on that particular piece of this question. But I think the overarching powerful part of this question is that when we talk about things that are hard, some might even say bad or even the word evil, I know that might make some people uncomfortable, but things that are hard, things that are bad, things that are challenging, I tend to fall back on all of the good things, both in my life and the good things I've seen in the world. And I use that not as a trite answer, I use that as a realistic answer, that when I am coping, and that's what I'm doing, when I'm coping with things, I turn to the good that I see in the world and I cling to it. And then I turn when I can and I try to make good things, but that's just me. <laughs> Um, so I don't know what sucked in means in this question, um, because um, every day as a Black woman in America, I, am, I struggle with seeing people suffering. Um, every day um, as um, a mother of a Black son that was murdered, I am um, dealing with that pain. Um, and what helps me get up in the morning is to know that I am held in love by a community. Um, and it really is nurturing. It really does make a difference to know that I am not alone, that there are people who care about me um, in this community and in other communities um, that hold me um, in my pain. And we do it collectively. Um, and so it's not me alone but it's me being held in the community that loves me and that um, cares about me and cares about other and really in a generous way um, that, that keeps me going. Um, but I have my bad days um, um, and I just say, this is a bad day and I not need to get up the next day. I agree. Um... That's why I joined Unitarian Universalism. I knew I was missing something in terms of a community that would hold me during all these, all these terrible things happening around the world and in my own life. And um, I felt like that's a place to ask questions, hence this question box service, and also a place to explore, to be sad and happy all at the same time and, and make space for both of those. 